Welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. Yeah, about the last month and a half, two months, and I don't know if it's because of the virus or just springtime, but there's been a real big increase in people wanting to build the hand pump that I have on YouTube and the off-grid cabin build. So like I said, like the title said, this is a new twist on it. And I've got some people that have built my hand pump. They owe me some videos and pictures because I want to give them their 15 seconds of fame. and I want to shout them out. And if they have a YouTube channel, I'll put that on there and give them their name. But of course, let's see if I can do this one-handed here. hold the camera and not make you too sick this of course is my hand pump and the builds are all on YouTube and now I'm going to show you the the twist I've had for it for a while and some of the justifications in the build well here it is this is the thing I've had for a while some people have been to life skills and a bunch of trade shows have all seen it no, I just didn't weatherproof the hand pump through the power and the magic of DC electricity. Let me show you this thing. Now, for everybody who doesn't want to hand pump it, I got one with a motor on it now. Hopefully I've sparked a little bit of interest in some people. Mr. Jim and all that built one of my pumps. Now I don't want nobody to get mad and say now he came out with a motor after I built one. I do want you to know I'm going to take this cover off and show you what it is. But if we get down here, a piece of galvanized pipe right there is the same one that's on your pump. It hooked right through the well cap. I just have it sitting here on this thing for demonstration to haul it around. Let me take this uh, front cover off and let me show it to you. Well, I tried to move the barrel over in the sun. I'm losing sunlight fast, but I got too much water in it to drag it around. But as I said, this right here is the same T and it's just holding on to the frame that that would actually be your handle part. This is the piece right here in the well cap. Let me show you right over here. And here's the regular hand pump. This will be the top of the well. Your piece of steel, your one and a half inches down there. Here's your T. And then, of course, here's your piece coming out. And then this is your metal rod. And the only thing I've done to make it easier is this right here is all the same. I'm using the sucker rod right here. One, so it bends. And two, because... This thread right here will screw right into this fitting and basically this thing right here is the ball joint on the front of a lawnmower and all I did was weld some half inch nuts onto the chain this right here the top one is the is the driver and it is driven by a 24 volt wheelchair motor that I'll go over this is just the idler pulley down here. Let me turn it on and show it to you. Well, here it is. Running. I'm trying to get back so the noise isn't too bad. But it just goes round and round, and that fiberglass sucker rod makes up for the bend in it. But that's all, this, all the harder it is. I got number 50 chain on here just because that's what I had. I had it in the gears. I'll show you how to use it if there's some interest in it. But that's a 24 volt motor and we'll run it on 12 so it only runs about half speed. We're going to have this thing hooked up for a variety of different things. We've got some of them up on top water tires 20 feet high that are hooked to solar panels. And when the sun comes up it just pumps until the tank's full and the electric switch shuts it off but that's all it is to it uh, there's less than a hundred dollars in the whole build and yeah you could clean it up but 
I try to do these builds to where everybody can do it. The frame and the back end is made out of wood and treated two by fours. Yes, in my shop I do have vertical milling machines and horizontal and bridge ports and lathes. But if I build this stuff using that stuff, nobody can really replicate it unless they have that machinery. That's why I try to use stuff that you can get out of Lowe's and Ace Hardware and stuff you can readily buy and make yourself. And maybe you got a buddy does a welder, has a welder to weld a couple things on. But if any interest in it, leave me a comment. And uh, but this thing right here will just attach right to your existing hand pump if you've already built it if you're gonna build it the only thing you do is instead of that metal rod coming out the top to go to the handle you put another fiberglass chimney cleaning rod on it that sucker rod that's all it takes but as usual like share subscribe tell your friends about it i thank everybody for my thousand subscribers and like a politician and everybody else, I'm greedy. I'm going for 2,000 people now. So, uh, I guess like every first-term president, what they want is a second term. Well, I got 1,000 subscribers, so now I'm going for 2,000 subscribers. So like it, share it, tell your friends about it. And maybe the rest of this weekend, I'll do a tear down and build and show you how it's all put together if anybody's interested. Thank you for watching.